This episode of Film London is brought to you by Animation Composer from MrHorse.tv. Roll the thing. This video sponsored. Woohoo! This is a Film Learning product review. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn good. That's right, we're back at the desk with another review episode. Now, guys, I do have the style of helmet effect coming up but it's a really big tutorial, so I thought I might just put in a review episode in the meantime. Hope that's okay. What just happened? So if you've been watching Film Learning over the last few years and years and years, you'll have noticed that I've talked about Animation Composer more than once. I even had a giveaway on the show at one point where we gave away some copies of it. And in a funny, crazy, roundabout, sort of serendipitous way, we've managed to find each other again in this sponsored review episode. Funny how the world works. So a little bit about Animation Composer, as I've been using this for quite some time. I pretty much consider this thing the doyen or the originator of the motion preset pack. It might not be, but it's the first one I ever got my hands on. And over the years, they've just been improving it more and more and more and adding more content to their packs. So of course, we've got the free version of Animation Composer that comes with a whole bunch of samples. And then you've got the paid packs on top of that to expand the pack. So on top of the free version, they've got 2D special effects, they've got filmmakers transitions, they have motion presets, they have thousands and thousands of presets that you can pay for and then expand the library of your motion presets within Animation Composer. But enough chibba jabber from me guys, how about we jump into After Effects and we explore this in depth. Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects and I've got the project file that comes with Animation Composer when you download it free from the Mr. Horse TV website and it's just called check out these fun examples and I thought this would be a really good way to explore what you can actually achieve with Animation Composer. And right out of the gate, the start here project file is very interesting. So if I just hit the play button, you can see what we've got is four parts of the Mr. Horse logo here, dynamically linked, and each of them has an effect animation on there. And you can just see how cool this actually looks. So you've got the body moving and all of those, say the right ear, the head, and the left ear, are all parented to the body, and the body is controlled by a null. And you can just see how much variety in the animation you can already get. So the horse is wiggling his ears, his head's moving independent of his body, and I think that looks pretty damn cool. So that's just an example of something simple you can do in a very short amount of time with Animation Composer. But let's move on. So our first example here that we can actually have a bit of a play with is this animated typography one. So if I just hit the play button, you can see it's a very simple animation, but pretty effective. So they're just saying here, try moving the markers TR in and TR out to adjust the duration of the animation. So let's just do the let's right here. You can see that comes in fairly slowly, but if we were to say, move that over a little bit further and let's just do a preview you can see it now comes in a lot quicker so if we move that over all the way here and do that again you can see it comes in a lot smoother and it's the same sort of thing with the animate here we can move that over here and you can see that comes in a lot faster but let's move on again so in this example you can see all the shapes dynamically come in on their own. They're all staggered here. And this is a really cool example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight all of those. I'm going to go into Animation Composer. And we're going to remove every single one of those animations. Bam. Done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit the bracket. And I'm just going to even them all out. So at the moment, no animations. And they're all even. So what we'll do is go up to Animation Composer, into Transition Presets, and then let's just grab a, let's just go up Position and Scale, and Overshoot from the top. So let's just drag and drop that in, bam. And you can see at the moment, they all come in as one. But what we can do is, and this is another cool tool that comes with Animation Composer, is we can go to Transition Shifter. We've got all those highlighted, and all we're gonna do is just stagger them by one frame, and just go Do. 
Now, by doing that, just quickly, we'll close that out. And with a quick preview, you can see we've got a really cool animation. And we did that in two clicks. That's pretty incredible. One thing that's very important to know about the animation composer things is you can modify your layer and you're not going to break the animation because this animation is non-destructive. So for example, we've got this bar graph here. So pretty simple animation, but say we don't want that there. We can move that over here. And if we come back and do a preview, you can see the animation works just fine. How? We can bring this over here, hit S, and we can scale this thing up. 750%. Now, this should break this animation, but you can see, not a problem at all. And that's really powerful to be able to go in there, modify something, even though it's got a whole bunch of animation linked to it. So in this example, we have a slate that comes up and it clamps down, and you've got this sort of dynamic bouncy animation here on whatever you call that thing. So what can we do here? It's saying, remove the presets and try to animate it ourselves. So let's do that. We'll grab all of our animated elements, head to Animation Composer, and we'll hit Remove. Now, our first step would be to animate the body, because as you can see, all the other elements are linked to the body via a parent. So, we're going to head up to Animation Composer. Let's just grab, say, a scale. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll grab that one. So, once we do this, you can see the entire slate comes in in one go. So, our next one would be to bring this thing in and we're going to try and get it to move downwards. So, Animation Composer. Position and Rotate. Okay, we might try for that one and we'll go left. Now I'll drag and drop that in. So you can see that we're way off. So what we want to do, is we want to change the position so that it sits over our slate that way, the animation will be constrained to this area. So now, when we bring this in, you can see we get our clap. But I'm also going to bring our TR in over. That way, it'll clap down just a little bit faster. Now, that's not bad. So we've already got a dynamic element clapping down there. Now guys, one thing that does set Animation Composer apart from a lot of the other motion graphics extension packs and motion graphics packs is the sound effects. Now, you actually have the ability to control these sound effects. Now, I just wanna quickly just demo this for you. Now, believe it or not, that's only two different sound effects. Now, you heard the tone change. Now, that's just one sound effect. These, all these pops, you can hear it go. <laughs> that sucked, but you get the point. What we can actually do is we can go into Animation Composer and actually change the pitch of these sounds. So at the moment, you can see that hollow pop is set to minus 19, but say I want it to go higher. We bring it up and you can see down here that it's actually changing the length of the clip in real time. Say, say I want it to go to a really high pop. It's done. That's how easy it is. So imagine how powerful this thing is. We can go into sounds, drop down our essential sound effects. These are just the free ones that come with Animation Composer. And let's say, grab a transition. Let's go that one. Now, we can very easily bring that pitch up and preview that again. So you can actually preview it and drop it into your comp already modified, or very easily, you can just click on one. It comes up right here in the preview window and you can bring that straight back up again. You can see it shifts in the comp in real time, which is amazingly powerful. So now we have... Now, one other thing I really wanna mention, and this is 
huge is that you can actually bring in your own sound folders. So you can import them in and dynamically change the pitch in real time while you're compositing a shot. So, I mean, I don't do a lot of sound design in After Effects, but that's pretty powerful. If you're doing, say, a gunfight and you've got bullets whooping by left, right and center, you can change the pitch of those in real time. I mean, this delivers a lot of flexibility is what I'm saying. Okay guys, so we've seen a few examples from Mr. Horse themselves. So I thought, why not make one myself? So I've got one with the Film Learn logo. I've got a couple of text boxes here and I've got a YouTube logo. So we can just make a nice short promo using just Animation Composer. And I just wanna show you just how easy it is. So let's start with the logo, hit up, grab Animation Composer. And let's just drop down our transition presets. Grab our 2D ones, and I think I'm just gonna go position and scale. And let's just grab one from the top, so it just dives down. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that straight in. Bam. And that's pretty good, but it's a bit too bouncy for my liking. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring that bounce back to two, and I'm gonna bring this from minus 500 to minus 250. Now, just watch how much smoother this is now. So there you go. And that took, what, five seconds? Fantastic. So next one, let's do this one here. It'll learn you good. Now for this one, I think I'm gonna jump into the text presets and let's just animate the characters here. So you've got characters, you got lines, you got words. Let's just go with the characters in this case. And I think we might do scale and tracking maybe just a basic one no I'm not feeling that so that's not bad I can live with that okay I'll just drop that down now here's the thing I want this to pop up after the logo pops up so what I'm gonna do is just grab this drag it over say about here that way logo pops in now that happens a bit fast, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over. And what that will do is it'll slow down this animation. So let's go again. Not bad, not bad. We might bring that over so it happens just a little bit quicker. Let's try that again, bang. Fantastic. All right, now last one, well, <laughs> second last one. I'm gonna go watch now on. Now we'll do this one but this time around we're going to grab text and i think we're going to just animate the words and i think what we might do is we'll go a positional one and maybe up from the bottom yep i like that let's pop that in once again guys we just want to trim this so that it starts after both of those animations see what that looks like I yeah, see I didn't let it come in <laughs> there we go now it'll work that's pretty good that comes up pops up and then that comes up straight afterwards might move that over just two frames just so there's a little bit of a breather there we go and last one is the YouTube logo and let's just open up animation composer one last time and for this one, I think I'm gonna use a 3D layer transformation because we've got it as a 3D layer. So let's go position, maybe this one here, but we'll come up from the bottom. Yep, I can live with that. So let's jump that one in. Once again, we're going to trim it so that it starts after all that. Okay, we'll bring that over a little bit more. Looks pretty good. And what, that took a couple of minutes? You've got a whole bunch of animated elements and it looks really cool. Now, obviously you can turn on motion blur as well, but that's totally up to you whether you want that or not. I think it looks pretty good. Now, it just goes to show you just how quick and easy it is to put something together with Animation Composer. So guys, that was my review slash in-depth look at Animation Composer from Mr. Horse. As you can see guys, Animation Composer makes it very, very simple to take that static, boring comp 
and turn into something animated and lively with a whole bunch of motion preset crap. You'd think all the noises would be annoying, but they're not. Now, all kidding aside, guys, Animation Composer is extremely easy to use and very intuitive, and also it contains controls that aren't in some of the other motion preset packs, and the addition to be able to modify those sound effects dynamically in real time is a massive asset. One thing I will mention is that for professional motion designers, Animation Composer is a massive time saver, especially when it comes to their expanded range of assets for the plugin. Now guys, I barely scratched the surface of just how much awesome content they've developed as we primarily showed their motion presets, but there's an entire library of pre-comps to explore, including shape elements for adding effects and emphasis to all of your animation and all of your layers, the filmmaker's transition packs, I love this one, but I'm a sucker for these packs. Titles and lower thirds, well, that one's pretty much self-explanatory. Animated textures, now this pack is extremely cool as not only does it contain a crap load of awesome textures, in one click, the plugin actually masks your footage when you apply it for easy adjusting and replacement if you need to. Animated backgrounds for adding a little bit of life to those otherwise boring background layers in your comp, Shape transitions create sweet transitions in the same vein as the filmmaker's transition pack, only this time you have a level of control not seen in most of these packs, and I dig that big time. And then of course there is the animated illustrations bundle, which is invaluable to any motion designer that's say building explainer videos, or they're on a crunch and they need animated assets in a pinch. Rather than having to develop those things from scratch, they can easily add these with the click of one button. So you can clearly see guys, Animation Composer is built by motion designers, for motion designers, and it's a dream come true really. You have the ability to get as complex or as simple with your animations as you like. Now for more info on this, head to mrhorse.tv and check out all this stuff for yourself. Animation Composer is free to download, so you can dip your toe in and see if you like it, and if you do, check out all the expanded content that they have on offer. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed that review episode. We will be back with the Star-Lord Helmet Effect, I swear it is coming up. It is just a really big tutorial guys, so be sure and keep an eye out for that. And while you are here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. You can also hit that like button guys because I really do appreciate it. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got all my social media crap here, as well as the Patreon if you want to support Film Learner, or if you want to support us directly on YouTube, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.